So how do you justify eating something that you know isn't good for you when you're an intuitive eater? Well, it's easy. Intuitive eating is a broad-minded uh, concept. It is a concept that has wide vision, not tunnel vision. So the way for you in your life to eat the most healthful, wonderful foods just for you is for you to key into your body. And when you do that, that means you're not gonna demonize anything. Because when you do that, you interfere with your body's ability to steer you to foods on a, any given day because you're throwing judgment on stuff. And ironically, and of course this happens, when you're human and you demonize food that you think is bad for you, you want it more. I mean, it's human nature. We want what we can't have, right? So you shut that down by listening to your body and, and being open and saying, okay, I can have everything on this menu or everything in my cabinet. I can have it all. I can have it all. So nothing is bad. That gives your body room to go, hey, this is what I'd like today. And you will be surprised. You are not gonna always want the non-nutrient dense food. Sometimes you will. But in general, as an intuitive eater, I, I mean, and I've worked with so many people over the decades, you crave fabulous food as well as sweets. And when you just let yourself crave the sweet and get on with it and don't worry about it and actually enjoy that as a true pleasure in life and a gift and be, be grateful and all that stuff, it's no big deal. It's no big deal. So I would suggest to you and to anyone who's trying to become an intuitive eater to the first step is to, is to take the judgment off. And when you take the judgment off, everything relaxes and your true food personality and the food that you actually want comes shining through and you will love it. You will be, again, you'll be surprised by what you crave. Like, you know, when I was a dieter, I thought I loved peanut butter. I barely ever eat peanut butter. And back then it was, you know, I always thought that was so fattening and so I, I craved it because, you know, it's so bad, I wanted it. Now, I mean, I have some in my cabinet. I don't know, I haven't opened it and it's probably bad, I don't know. But I'm just saying, this is one little example. And I thought that like, I thought I didn't like um, salad and it's only because I never let myself put any dressing on it. Now, I enjoy the beautiful, fabulous, nutritive value of vegetables in a salad and I put some dressing on it. And as a dieters, we don't put the dressing on so then it's no good. Well, for me, I mean, I, and I'm not talking about a bunch of it, I'm talking about like olive oil, maybe some balsamic vinegar and some spices. Yeah, now I love it. And so I'm eating more vegetables. Diet mentality thinking backfires. It makes you not eat nutritionally long-term. Intuitive eating is the most healthful way for you to live. It's structured specifically for you, by you. All you gotta do is listen. And I know it seems weird that that would work, but think how weird it is that that seems weird because it's very normal. You can do it.